Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to feed you with the word of Christ. If you are new here, which I know a lot of people be new here, but if you're new here, comment, like, and subscribe. We you should comment, like, and subscribe to your soccer feature with the word of God. You know you want to get the word of God. That's why you click this video and I'm going to give you the word of Christ, period. So we're going to tap in right now. It says, and I think I did this before, but I try. I decided to do it again because a lot of people might feel like this and they shouldn't. So it says, have you ever felt completely abandoned or mistreated by God? Have y'all ever felt like that before? Well, I'm here to tell you if you have. God will never abandon you. God will never leave your side. God will never forget about you. God will never sit there and say that I'm not going to help you because God will always help you at the end of the day. God will never abandon you. You know, some parents abandon their kids. God will never abandon you, put you out, put you on harm's way, none of that. If anything, God will love on you as much as you love yourself, but God will love you ten times better. Um, a job did tell God how you how you're feeling. The sooner you spill, the sooner He can heal. He can help you heal. So, as I was saying, like if you're feeling offend, if you're feeling, I said offended, not offended. If you're feeling abandoned by a parent, tell God so he can heal your heart and he can help you feel better. Because at the end of the day, nobody should ever abandon you, no matter how you look, no matter how you, you know, do things, whatever. Nobody should make you feel abandoned. And I'm sorry you feel like that because you're very special to me. Even though you don't know me, you're very special. You're very special to me and you're special to God. You have a purpose on this earth. You should never feel like you don't have a purpose. You should never feel like you shouldn't be here. You should never feel bad things at all because you're you're very special and you're unique in all in all ways, you know. Your purpose on this earth means a lot. It means a lot and you have a lot to do. You have so many things to see, so many lives to uh, touch and be around, stuff like that. So me being a content creator, I have to touch you guys' life. I have to pack you guys' life in so many different ways. I have to say things that you guys can understand. I don't say, and I don't say this for clout. I say this because I truly care. Because I have been talking like this forever. I've always had a kind spirit, a kind heart. I've always cared for other people. It's just like I care about y'all. No, I care for each and last one of y'all. That's what I tell you all the time. Read the word of God. Tap into the Bible. Know that you are loved. Don't take your life. You know, be here a little while longer. I need you here, okay? So you can watch my videos, okay? So you can feel better because I care about your mental health. What you think up here is important, okay? And I want you to think happy thoughts. I don't want you to think negative thoughts. I want you to know that I said it's going to be okay, and I know that it's going to be okay because we serve a God, so he's not going to have you be upset about anything. Whatever you're facing today, I am truly sorry. It is hot, but I am truly sorry that you're facing whatever you're facing today, whether it's money issues. I always say this, like, whether it's because I know a lot of people be facing money issues. They feel like, oh, well, I don't have enough money to pay for this. Oh, she don't get it. I do get it. I definitely get it. But the thing about God is he tells you in his word, Mark eleven twenty four tells you that whatever you ask for in prayer, you shall receive. So when you're asking God to cover your finances and make them a way that you can get the money you need, remind him Mark eleven twenty four. That Bible verse is so powerful and I use that Bible verse a lot because it's powerful. I don't just use it because it's there. I use Yeah, I don't just use it because it's there, I use it because it's powerful. It's powerful, and God loves when we remind him of his Bible verses, you know? So, God would never abandon you, you know? He He would never do that. That's why he wants to know how you're feeling, because he tells you all the time, I'm like, tell me how you're feeling. Stop telling everybody else. Tell me how you're feeling. You haven't told me how you're feeling, but you're telling everyone else. I don't think God likes it. To be honest, I don't think God likes it when we go to other people. He don't like that because he's saying, why are you telling them instead of telling me what's wrong? Huh? <laughs> why are you telling me instead of telling people, and telling, telling, instead of telling other people what's wrong? Why are you not telling me what's wrong? What can they do for you? Because all they're going to do is listen. They're going, oh, yeah, I've been through that too. 
don't know. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I don't know what to tell you, boy. I don't know. God's not going to tell you. Oh, I've been through that, too. I don't know what to tell you. If anything, God's going to tell you. I've been through that, too, but I got a solution here. I deal with that, too, but I, I, got, I got a way how to get you out of it. I deal with that, too, but we're going to figure this out together. You know what I'm saying? Like, God cares, so he's not going to just tell you anything to be done with you. No, he's going to actually help you with this situation. Like, he's going to do something about it. You know, he's not going to say to you, oh, well, stop crying about it because I, I'm already at work. He's not going to tell you that. He understands why you're crying. Just for me, I'm very sensitive, though, so I know here. So, when I get really, really mad, I distance myself a lot. I don't talk. I don't look at you. I don't do nothing. Because at the end of the day, you made me mad. So, I'm going to diss myself for a long time. And I might not never come back because I'm mad. But when I talk to God, I calm down. And God showed me, like, you ain't had to get that worked up. You ain't had to get that upset like that. Why? Because I'm, going, I'm taking care of you. So, don't ever get to the point where you're upset and you think that God's abandoned you. God never will never abandon you, okay? Sweetheart, God will never abandon you. When God looks at you, he like, that's my beautiful daughter. That's my princess right there. My princess is awake. She's awake. What do she need today? Or my king is awake. What do he need today? You know, when you wake up in the morning, it's a celebration. And I say this all the time, but it, it really is a celebration in heaven. The angels are clapping. They're rejoicing in heaven because you woke up. So they're very, they're already at work. They're ready. They're like, okay, well, what, what do they need for today? What, what do we need to do for them today? I know they need something. I know they ain't going to talk to us today. I know. So if you haven't prayed today, pause this video and tell God how you're feeling. Don't look at this whole video yet until you tell God how you're feeling. We're going to wait till you pause this video. I'll wait. Matter of fact, let me set the timer. We're going to set the timer to 30 minutes. So you're going to take 30 minutes to pray. And I'm going to wait till you, um, I'm going to let you pray for 30 minutes. And then once you pray, I'm going to see how you're feeling after you pray. So we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. And then you can pray after the video if you want to. If you didn't pray long enough, you feel like you didn't pray long enough. Sometimes I feel like I didn't pray long enough. So I'll go back and support it. But we're going to set the timer to 30 minutes. And we're going to take 30 minutes for you to pray. I'm going to pray over you all myself. When the timer goes off, that's when we stop praying. <sighs> so, Father God, I come to you. I come to you feeling happy this morning. I come to you for other people. This morning, Father God, they're all going through some traumatic experience in life. They need to know that you are real, number one. You are a healer. You care for us deeply, mentally. They need to also know that I'm not doing this for clout. I'm doing this because you are real. And I've seen you work so many things out, and I know for a fact you're going to work this situation out for them, Father God. I don't know what they're facing. I don't know what their life looks like for them in the morning when they get up. Heck, I don't even know what it looks like when they lay down. But at the end of the day, I know that you are a healer in whatever they're going through. I know you got a way out of no way to let them feel better. I know you're going to make a way that they just feel better. I know it because you always think the way I feel better. So I know you do the same thing for other people as well, Father God. Let them know that everything that they're facing is only temporary because you have a solution. You been had the solution when the problem came. You always... Get some solution for us, Father God. You're that smart. You're that smart. And you know what to do when we need it. You already know how to help us feel better before we even know how to feel better. So you just know these things. You know. Uh, anybody that's facing anything in life. I don't know what they're facing, Father God. I don't know what they're going through, Father God. But whatever it is. I just pray that you show your hand upon their life, Father God, and let them know that this too shall pass. You said in your word, Mark eleven twenty four, that whatever we ask for in prayer, we shall receive. Let them know whatever they tell you about whatever their finances look like. If it's horrible, I pray that it, that it gets better. 
and I pray that you show them that they to get better. You said you take care of everything. Finance, pain, problem, relationships, um, broken families. You take care of everything, Father God. Not for me, but not just for me, but for others as well, Father God. They have such a powerful thing over their life, Father God. And they don't know how precious they are to you, Father God. They don't know that their calling is something special you gave them. And no matter what they look like, they still have a purpose on this earth that needs to be fulfilled. Because if it wasn't if it wasn't meant for them to be if it wasn't meant for the purpose to be fulfilled, they would have been gone by now with you. But we understand that their purpose has not been filled yet. We understand that, you know, we're going to go through trials and tribulations, but we're going to understand. We need to understand that you are there to be in, a, in the trials and tribulations. You already fight the battle for us. You already won against the devil. You already defeated the devil. Whatever we're crying about, it will not last long because you said you are there with us when we're crying. You already figured out a solution. You're already seeing what's going on. You're already at work. No matter what it looks like, you're at work. You know what I'm saying? You you be at work all the time. We don't have to cry, worry, be concerned, stressed out, none of that. Because you're forever at work. And that's the thing I like about you, God. I don't even got to explain the situation sometimes to you. Because you already know what it is. You know, I have a close relationship with you. So, you already know how I be. And I'm pretty sure they have a close relationship with you. And Father God, they don't have a close relationship with you, Father God. I just pray they get a close relationship with you. And they open up and they talk to you. Because, like, they need to talk to you. And they need to know that, you know what I'm saying, you are here for them. If they sit there and they don't talk to you, then that's how they going to get the help they need. You know what I'm saying? So, have them to talk to you, you know. Get their message across. So, yeah. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, you can still take 30 minutes as you need to, but I just paused my timer on the clock because I'm done with my prayer. But, yeah, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, leave that an emoji that lets me know you watched the whole entire video. Also, give a big thumbs up if you like the video as well. If you can't leave an emoji down for whatever reason it is, that's fine. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.